Okay, so I'm doing my second long-term video here. We are in Portland, Oregon. So Chris Jensen. Well, I ain't rich, but I damn sure wanna be. Black Rifles Matter, yeah. So I want everybody to notice here, we've got two strips of yellow. You know, they treat us like the crime scene. The crimes are over there. You guys look at the sad sacks. Hey, National Press. Watch out. Hey, how you doing, cowgirl? Bernie for president? Why did you vote for Bernie? Again, it wasn't on the ballot. In which state? In the general. Okay, but you voted for him. Oh, did you write in a name? Oh, but why did you support him in the in the primary? Oh. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Yeah. Why did you support him in the primary? Uh, because there's no reason that hardworking families should be struggling to feed their family. I agree. In their lives, and okay. they ever want more money than they can ever spend in a lifetime. Two questions Why do you think there were so many poor people? Why do you think so many working people were struggling? Inequality. Why? What does that mean? Inequality is natural, it happens. No, yeah, it does. What is it? Homeostasis is natural. Well, what we're talking about in an economic order, not everybody's gonna have the same amount of money. But why do you think there were so many poor families? What do you think happened? that was creating so much poverty. The gap between rich and poor. What was creating that gap? Forever. What was creating that gap? Tax form. Okay, so people are overtaxed? Uh, no, I think in, rich, in, in LA we are. The rich are undertaxed. Okay, so the, the answer is to tax the rich more. Yes. Okay, so if we taxed Warren Buffett 100%, took all of his money, do you think that would solve all the problems? Uh, no. No, About what? 90 might do it. He, he Why 90 instead? I think it's worth noting that under Ike Eisenhower, when at a time when the middle class in this country has never been better off, right? A time of unprecedented growth and expansion for this entire country. The right. Infrastructure, the our economy was never healthier than it uh -huh. was under Eisenhower. Under Eisenhower, the tax rate for top income earners was 90 percent, and it was too high. It went better, lower better than that. Opinion. Reagan, there was a massive economic uh, recovery and the tax rates were lowered. I would not the reason why there was a boom in the, the 50s debt. is because of the post-war boom. I would not call quadrupling the national debt an economic recovery. Okay, well, I wouldn't call doubling it either. That was under Obama. Well, Reagan quadrupled it. He still takes a cake on that. No, it, it is now, what, nearly $20 trillion because of Obama. Yep. Yeah. So, I'm, if you want to talk about taking the cake, it's Obama. I'm not saying I support Obama. And under Obama, we had Obamacare, which put businesses out, which pushed people into part-time work. We saw poor people who couldn't afford insurance getting taxed to it. Taxes are too high on working people. The $15 forced wage hike shuts the businesses down. Obama was more or less yeah, indistinguishable the fucking fault. from the, the poor people. From the what do you mean? Why? Why? Just because they're poor isn't a crime. This guy wants to screw poor people. I don't know why. He's sarcastic. He's not good at it. Okay, well, thanks for answering. I appreciate it. I never said that. Would you please explain why you said you wanted to screw the poor people? Yeah, the $15 an hour wage is, like, way too generous. You're right, it is. I don't think there should be a minimum. I think there should be a minimum wage that I don't think there should be one at all. You're obviously having more People should be paid for the work they do. Why is it poor judgment to say that we should push businesses out? No, no. Everything that's going to come out of your mouth is poor judgment. Why? You've got to make America Great Again hat on okay. in the middle of the city that just suffered uh, a horrible crime. 
and your group likes to, you know, come and try to provoke, you know, stick your finger. I haven't provoked eyes. anything. I'm just talking to you. The assemblage of attending this thing here today. No, it's bringing, not. Bringing your garbage bullshit. What Donald is garbage Trump that's bullshit. being brought? What is the garbage that's being brought? Uh, you don't think America Trump, should be great again? Uh, it, it was never not great. Okay. So you think it was okay when poor people couldn't afford health insurance? That it was okay to see 95 billion people well, out I'm of work? Well, I'm not going to try to discuss okay anything with you like you Because you can't. You've resorted to name-calling and because defaming people. And that's all you've got. The, yeah, have a no, nice day. No, you came here to our fucking town. Wow, so much hate. Yeah, you came here to our town. You own this In the middle of it? this. Really? A day after this. Really? You come here. And try to capitalize and get attention for yourself, for your stupid website. You'll get some clicks. You're going to get your YouTube clicks. Uh huh. So you can get your nickel. Okay. And you're, you don't give a crap about you're Portland. You're not working and earning money. You don't give a crap you. about Portland. I'm talking we to you right now. For you dumbasses. And you come down here. Oh, I'm a, I'm a Republican. I'm not a dumbass. Why are you calling names? Because I know. He's you're hostile. You're a dumbass. You're a dumbass. Wow. wow. How old are yeah. you? Five? No, no, no. He's trembling, because guys. You people came to wow. our city. In the middle of our... Oh, nice to meet you. Okay, good. I a Portlander for Trump. No. Wow, you're, you're not doing too well today, buddy. You're batting zero out of zero. I'm really looking for you to, for my affirmation. I'm really yes, looking you are. You're talking to me right now. Why did we stand? Do you believe in unity? Why do you have so much hatred? Because you, you resort to cursing and swearing. You own this city. She's from Portland. No, they're from Vancouver. Okay, he came here. No, no, he came here to get his attention this because Portland. Is this I think so. He he wants borders for Portland. He wants borders for Portland, but not for the United States. Because people in Portland. It's called freedom of speech, dude. Not everything. You don't believe in freedom of speech? Yeah, no. We would. Yeah. Oh no. What? And you want to come here because it's this nice is the epic meltdown of the left. You're seeing it right in front of your eyes. And you want to come here because it's a nice. This city, is the this is the epic nice meltdown park. of the left. This is what it looks like. But you is it any surprise they lost the election? <laughs> nice city, nice park. I was born here. You're a Portlander too, for Trump. No. Just you're here. Okay. So Did you? I think you should be able to come out. I agree too. So, do you think he doesn't have a right to be here? Because it's a free speech rally. Do you think that he supports? Whatever you hate. Well, you know it's not a free speech rally because you're not letting everybody in. You're like, you're... The we can't because they're violent. They want to kill us. Are you kidding me? They literally say they want to kill us. Yeah. I, I've had okay. two people threaten my life so already. Yeah, I hope you get a lot of clicks. And I, hope I didn't pull this up. The police did. YouTube are, you know, slugging their energy drinks. And I don't drink drink energy drinks. I'm done enough energy without it. Wow, he's a, you're a fascist, man. And the guy thinks that poor people should be... In his words, screwed over. I think that's wrong. Obama screwed over poor people for eight years. The rich got richer under Obama through government cronyism. So why weren't you doing this eight years ago, five years ago, when Obama was pushing businesses into bankruptcy, that he wasn't allowing black children to go you're to schools of their choice? Why are I you am. a freaking professor? You know why? Because they don't pay enough. <laughs>